Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the Daily Gaming News here on the New Buy. I'm your host Houses and let's just jump right into it. First bit of news is actually that we have new gameplay trailer footage of Shenmue 3 and that even shows actual combat and that is just awesome. It looks like a stylized thing that we could see maybe uh, like I don't know, Dragon Quest maybe? I think it goes in that direction of the art direction. And yeah, as we can see, there is also comment in the game that we can uh, play later then. Hopefully once the game releases. It's really not that bad, I really like it. And for people who did not believe that this would work out, uh, it seems like development is in good progress. And yes, there will be actual good gameplay, hopefully. <laughs> Next up, we have Google having a open patent running for a video game streaming technology called Project Stream. And along with that, there's also a controller. That controller got shown around on social media quite often. And I want to make it clear, the patent only looks like this. There's no color attached to this. This is everything that we see in the official patent paper. It goes 14 pages here, link is down in the description below. And while this does not look very comfortable right away, this was what social media has shared around. It's not official, just to make it clear. It's like repainted 3D design design thing with Photoshop stuff, but this is everything that we have officially. This is fan made and it sort of reminds us of the Ouya console. Anyway, so yeah, who knows when this will be officially revealed. There's a gaming developers conference keynote there and it will be held on March 19th. It could be that Google might reveal this feature there then. But until then, this is official, this is not official, and this is the Ouya. <laughs> Then for people who actually played Artifact, the card game on Steam, um, yeah, apparently the designer Richard Garfield is also among those people who is not working at Valve anymore. We reported last week that 13 people have been let go besides some uh, external contractors and yeah, Richard Garfield, the designer of Artifact, is also gone now. So who knows what that will mean for Artifact the game itself, if there will even be coming a new improved update or something, if there will be even a player base after a while. But yeah, he is gone also from the team of Valve sadly, so and uh, good luck finding a new job somewhere else. And then a few numbers that we have. Octopath Traveler ships over 1.5 million units. Octopath Traveler also will get a sequel on consoles soon and this year also we'll see a mobile game spin-off. So that's nice. And City Skyline 6 over 6 million copies and even just 1 million copies around the last year since the game is out for 4 years now. So congratulations Paradox for uh, City Skylines and its um, success. And also news we have some reveal and release settlement news of course we see the sinking city has been delayed from its original march 21st release date into june 27th that's quite a length to be delayed the developer for quest explains today that sinking city's release has been pushed back three months due it's due to its currently crowded launch window and yes we have to agree because next week we actually see the division 2 and that will have actually huge hard drive uh, requirements and one to 92 gigabytes of day one patch will be downloaded on playstation 4 good luck and this done within the one day that you want to play the game probably and xbox one and pc players are told to expect at least 48 to 52 gigabytes of download if they're buying digitally it's crazy why playstation has such a large you know update size compared to xbox one and playstation uh, and x and pc sorry because this is like almost double from what the other consoles have oh boy the digital preload is uh, by the way happening right now on pc so you can download the game already which in this case finally makes a lot of sense like having a week time to preload the game before it's coming out certainly needed in that case and there's also another thing going on with the division 2 because as you know it's only on the uplay and epic game store and ubisoft will actually make it so that there will be no game keys on any other side like dream and gaming for example the game can only be bought starting with march 15th on uplay or epic game store nowhere else anymore games planet for example is giving 10 percent off right now green and gaming is offering 12 percent off and as it says here in a statement for games planet sad we have to announce to you that ubisoft will not allow digital third-party stores such as games planet to sell division 2 after its release on march 15th 2019 after this date the game will digitally only be available through ubisoft's store and another exclusive digital store which is epic game store this will also be true for all upcoming game content such as season pass extensions etc take the opportunity to buy now or you would not get it again all right so for most pc players this actually just means hey you can't buy it anywhere else anymore on the release date and going on which usually means for people that use these uh, third-party key sellers to save some money i know at least if you are you play you have like 200 ubisoft points or something you can get a 20 percent voucher for free on your account just you have to redeem them and 20 percent off already is quite good so these game stores don't do really that much to save money for you just 
just say that. But other than that, that has been it for the gaming news here today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I hope we we'll see you soon again for another day news show. Of course, follow us everywhere here on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want. And of course, join our Discord under the new battle.com slash Discord. Have a nice day, my name is Asus, and I hope we we'll see you soon again. Bye bye.